Hey everyone, I hope so you all are absolutely fine and today we are gonna explain or not gonna explain we are gonna share our experience that what we have learned from the last session of the communication mastery course that is 19 traits of a successful leader. So my name is Vishal and our team members is Nihaso and Sumuk. We're gonna explain not gonna explain we're gonna share our experience that what we have learned from the last session that is 19 traits of a leadership. So first of all let me tell you what I have learned from the last session that is all about the very first thing is that leaders are not born leaders are created and that is really blown my mind exactly we, we a lot of people are still thinking about leaders are born they are a born leader but from that season, okay even I am also thinking about okay leaders are born because they have a like a super duper kind of mindset or whatever but that literally that I have understand okay leaders are not born leaders are created over a period of time when they persist in their work actually so very first thing that I have learned is that and second one is that everyone is a leader that may be your uh, child that may be your spouse that may be your friend that may be anyone if he or she is thinking like think like a leader because and if he or she is influenced uh, to the people by their work that is the quality is hard working if anyone is working so much harder in their work that means the people are going to influence just because of their work they working so much harder so that's the second thing that I have learned and third one is that literally a leader is accountable they don't blame situation they don't blame like people they accept the responsibility whatever they are doing and they say okay if I did a mistake then I am responsible for that so they take accountability of whatever they are doing that is really amazing that I can say that and most important thing is that if leader commit something then do then they do that particular thing so they have a commitment power whatever they commit they do if they don't do I mean they don't complete that particular task they take responsibility okay I have uh, I just committed to do that particular work and I can't do so it's my mistake I don't say that this is just because of that particular person and that that particular situation they don't say like that so these are the things that what I have learned now our team is going to explain that what they have learned and I will hope you enjoy now I'm going to give examples of uh, leadership so that uh, we can understand in a better way uh, so before moving ahead, I just want to tell you a few things guys. Okay, assume that there is a bunch of lions and that team is led by a sheep. Okay, and uh, similarly, there is a one more team and uh, there is a bunch of uh, sheep led by a uh, lion. Okay, so uh, which team would you want to support? You want to be a lion or you want to be a sheep guys? So if you want to be a lion, then there are like uh, the qualities which my friend has suggested you, then you should go on to it. Okay, then you can lead a team like a lion. So if, if, a, if a leader is like a lion, then obviously it is like a mirror to the uh, followers and even all the sheep will become a lion. So you should be one among them, guys. So whatever my friends Vishal and uh, Nihar uh, sir has suggested you, like uh, you should work on to it. Once you started working on to it, then obviously you will become a, a great leader okay leadership is more what you what you uh, what you are not what you do okay uh, so this is all about this video i hope you really enjoyed it uh, thank you so much guys have a great day thank you vishal and shamik for giving your beautiful contents on the traits of successful leader vishal pointed out that leaders are not born in fact they are created and he emphasize few of the stuff like commitment your perseverance hard working and i really agree on all those points and here shomik mentioned by giving one example in between lion and sheep how the leader will keep the path how the leader should lead the team so that the entire team will get the substantial growth and success in their life here i wanted to thank you to every individuals who are the part of rahul's vip group and i wanted to give my gratitude to our mentor rahul who is empowering millions of people who is really has reached millions of heart who has won many people who has won who has motivated to many people that is why he has really become a good 
community over here and i wanted to give my tech takeaways i wanted to just share my thoughts on the traits of successful leader i will say that leaders never show their positional power in fact they show how to create the community how to give the value to the people how leader will give the over deliver how the leader would create the asset leader would always give priority on the revenue generation model over deliver empowering many peoples and they wanted to just give the value on how people would be served so nicely they believe on the personal friend they believe on the authenticity they believe on their work ethics they believe on their hard work they believe on their mindset and they believe even emotional intelligence because if i will talk about an example during this pandemic situations true leader or successful leader did know how to overcome this challenge even though this is a crisis in terms of financially and economically but true leaders know how to overcome this situations and of course they know how to empower many people how the community would be built if i'll talk about whoever has become millionaires or billionaires they know how to create the community and how people will get the maximum benefits this is what i wanted to say and i look forward few more homework from our mentor rahul sir thank you vishal thank you shomi here let me wind up for my talk thank you uh, so this is all about this video i hope you really enjoyed it uh, thank you so much guys have a great day bye